Greetings, Lucha lovers. Hutch Henry's here at the shop. And I don't usually do videos, talking head videos like this, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about WrestleMania coming up this weekend and a couple of the ideas that I had had for WrestleMania that, I mean, none of them, none of them happened at all. I'm surprised they actually went with the, the tag team match for the end of night one. And I understand, you know, Rocky, you know, you don't want it to have maybe a singles match. Maybe it was the plan the whole time for them to actually do something like this. But, um, you know, you can't, not, you can't have two matches. One match only. Tag team match. Seems okay. But I kind of thought they were going to do like a Daniel Bryan Triple H thing at first. Um, you know, when The Rock initially came out of the press conference slapping Cody or whatnot, he was talking about me and Roman. I'm going to take on Roman. It's the biggest match that there could ever be at the biggest WrestleMania of all time. And even though they were obviously family members and friends... The idea of them fighting each other for the top prize for in the biggest spectacle match of all time was not, it wasn't, wasn't crazy. It wasn't like they hate each other. We're just going to have a match because we're the best and we're the most interesting. So we're going to have a match together. Um, I thought they might continue that. So when Cody is getting the fan support and he's going to become the guy who takes on Roman, I thought they were going to do like a Triple H Daniel Bryan thing. Like night one, Rody versus, uh, Rody, Rock versus Cody. And with the, you know, kayfabe idea that whoever wins is going to take on Roman the next night. And, of course, Cody's going to win because we want him to take on Roman. And him triumphing over The Rock puts him over even more. And The Rock obviously isn't going to have two matches at WrestleMania. So that makes sense. I guess the tag match was a good way to go. But in my opinion, I think it would have been a little more interesting to go that way, Cody Rock. But obviously, they're going to probably go somewhere like that in the future. And to be honest with you, in the end run... A lot of people are saying that they pivoted when with the fan reaction. I don't think that's true. I think they actually knew that this was going to happen. Triple H isn't an idiot. And they planned this whole thing from the beginning. So that's the way I'm going to go. The initial reason I wanted to do this video was actually about Damien Priest, though, and like the, uh, the amazing truth, uh, or the awesome truth, sorry, Miz and Truth. Obviously, I thought they were going to go one-on-one -on -one for the tag titles. And at the time, I thought this is a perfect way for Damien to get this albatross off of him, this damn briefcase. Um, I don't think he's in a position to take on Seth or Drew or Punk or cash in on them and have it be credible. Maybe a cash in and a win. Hey, I'm champ and lose a month later, a month or two later. I mean, that happens. And, and you know, he could probably take that role. When I saw him as Punishment Martinez way back in ROH days, you know, that's a guy that could have been WWE champ one day. That's who you're looking at, you know? And it didn't take him long to get into the fold. So, you know, I could see him as WWE champ, but I don't think they've really put him in that position properly over the last few years. And I don't want him to cash in and fail. That's going to totally bury him. So, I thought initially they might have Awesome Truth take on the Judgment Day and win. And then they get their pop and they get everything. But then they cash in the briefcase right then. And like, you know, go in and roll them up and get your titles back. So then the big pop turns into a massive boo. And, and, you know, and of course, Truth is smart enough to use this winning and then losing thing and make gold out of it in some fashion. I can't come up with whatever he would come up with, but he would make it hilarious. You know, even maybe even somehow helping Judgment Day. Like, oh, well, I'm injured here a bit. Like, I don't know. But they could have done something fun. Granted, it's a bit of a waste of the briefcase, but it's no worse than Theory doing the U.S. title. I, 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 I'm not a harsh judge of wrestling in these kind of ways. You know, like, I didn't, I didn't absolutely despise Billy Gunn against Jay White as much as everybody else. I didn't despise the U.S. title cash-in for Austin Theory. Because you got to figure out, you know, what are you going to do with these guys? You know, sometimes you can't just give them the title shot and have them lose. Although I think... Theory did lose. But speaking of theory, what do you guys think of my theories? Obviously, these things aren't going to happen. We've got the ladder match now for the tag title match. And we've got the tag team match with, with Cody and Seth against the Bloodline, which I think they're going to win. I think Bloodline is going to win. And, like, we can't have Cody win night one and then win night two. It kind of, like, what's he going to do? Pin Roman? Pin Rock? No. Well, obviously, one of them is going to pin him. Rock's going to pin him. And then Rock says, hey, I should have been, you know? But what do you think about maybe The Rock being at ringside during night two main event, interfering, all kinds of shenanigans, bloodline, people are saying Jacob Fatu, Lance Anawai, Tama Tonga. It's not going to happen. But I do think maybe Stone Cold. Dun, 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 dun. That'd be great. Stone Cold coming to the rescue face-to-face -face with Rock, WrestleMania 40. You know, we know he can throw some punches and kicks and stunners. He can do his thing, right? So I'm thinking we're going to see a Stone Cold appearance. I'm not thinking we're going to see 
too much Rikishi, too much uh, Bloodline family stuff. Uh, hopefully there is something. Everybody wants to see massive shenanigans out the ass. People are saying DDP is going to show up and Diamond Cutter Rikishi and all this stuff. I'm not sure, but I'd love to see everybody. I'd love to see DDP. But I think if I had to put money down, you might see the Avengers assemble. We might see some Cena and some Stone Cold action, right? Anyways, if you watch this video, thanks a lot. We might do some more content like this in the future. Um, if I was to continue actual predictions, I'm thinking Rhea. Rhea over Becky. I'd like to see Rhea continue on. I don't think Becky needs it. I think we got to put Rhea over as like the super dominant. I really hope they don't split up the tag titles. And uh, I heard rumors that Cody might bring back the old winged eagle, right? Wouldn't that be great? Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you after WrestleMania.